Do you have any red flags, Will, in the, when it comes to dating? Yes. What a lot. what stands out? What's a, what are some big ones? Ugh. Like it's definitely a no go if that's there. Only fans. Okay. Or any anything in that realm. Okay. That's gonna be number one. Um number two, I would say constantly posting shit. Like whether on Instagram or whatever, posting shit. Constantly posting pictures or every thought you have or both. Yeah, just both. Enveloped. Okay. Both. Because to me I would say, you know, your 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 privacy is limited and she is seeking a lot of other people's um um uh, input mm-hmm. on situations. So so those are two major red flags for me. Um so I'll start with that. Okay. Those, those are just two major right off the bat. Well, when it comes to the dating world, there's a big red flag, apparently, that a poll found out. The biggest dating red flag for Gen Z and millennial women includes... Is this from a woman's perspective? It's from a woman's perspective. Okay. Includes no hobbies and what? What do you think? Just throw a guess out. Video games? No. Oh. The Joe Rogan Podcast. Listening to the Joe Rogan Podcast. So, yeah, the poll found that out. And the poll was conducted by uh, Change Research, who solicited information from 1,033 registered voters between the ages of 18 to 34, so Gen Z and millennials. What they found is nearly double the number of women viewed listening to Joe Rogan as a bigger red flag than someone owning a gun. Not that the two are connected, but just saying. For what it's worth, the Joe Rogan experience has been and will continue to be the most popular podcast in the world by far. And so it's perplexing, the red flag given the numbers. Um, So they have some biggest dating red flags and green flags for them as well. So the largest red flag uh, reported in the study was political in nature. 76% of the women responding that uh, MAGA was a red flag for them. But hold on, hold on, hold on. What... But what about the Joe Rogan podcast in particular that is I making them... I think it's them... just a general, like, almost as if that's like a personality trait, listens to the Joe Rogan podcast. Like, then they sort of, you're sort of pigeonholed into this area where, like, you're that guy, right? You're this dude, right? I well, what, you, what like, dude is that? They think it's some, like, overbearing machismo fucking too much masculinity kind of thing or, you know, conspiracy theorist doesn't believe anything. Who knows what it could be? I'm just, I'm not in the mind of a woman, but I can kind of get a sense that that's what they don't like about it. Like, they roll their eyes at it as if... Like, oh, he's watching his fucking show again, like his podcast or whatever, and thinking that, you know, it's news or what. Because, you know, I used to talk about space a lot to one of my exes, and she used to roll her eyes and laugh at the fact that I was so interested in it and fascinated by it. Okay. Anytime I brought it up, oh, here we go with the space thing again. Like, it was a turnoff, apparently, but it was something I really enjoyed. All right, hold on. A couple things, okay? One, I... To Joe Rogan's credit, one of the things that he rarely ever gets into is the relationship sphere. Sphere. Very rarely. Rarely. That is the one thing he hardly ever touches on. That's number one. Okay. Number two, I want to hear some of your red flags, to be honest, because I'm just saying, from the last one... (laughs) Kind of curious. Um, and I, I, and I don't, I can't really relate or, or get this Gen Z fucking new group of bitches. I, I really can't. But it's funny to me how, again, they're mad at men for liking Joe Rogan. But how many times do these bitches, or do you know, that are watching binge watching the Kardashians 
d Desperate Housewives, whatever. Uh, I love hip, uh, rap and hip hop of Atlanta, whatever. Like right. that was a big the fucking, Barbie movie, for instance. Th what, whatever. Want to be laughing about how often they think of the Roman Empire? When's the last time you thought about the Barbie movie? How many? Five seconds how, ago. How many? How many? What? Uh, every think about it. Every woman you've dated had a fucking show that you're like, really? You're like, you're into that, mm -hmm. really? And like. Whatever, like that didn't deter you. Like, well, no. if she maybe it was it's a red flag for you. I don't know, but it's like, no. oh wow, you binge watched um, fucking Desperate Housewives. Oh, you're one of those. Love people. is blind, or yeah, you know, it's like ninety day fiance. You know what I try to do? I try to get involved in it because one of my exes, she would watch the Kardashians, and so and of course at first I'm just like, really, like we're what? Okay, and I sat down and I'm like. And then I start just kind of cracking jokes, like, in between it. And she, she started laughing. So then we were kind of having fun with it, yeah, so to speak. I mean, it wasn't the same way, like, when I was watching sports, but... But, but that's interesting, uh, that, that the Joe Rogan's... Because I remember they're really... I forgot when, when exactly, but when tr Trump was... I think it was during his presidency or whatever, but there was a time where... It was if you if a man was either a Republican or a Trump supporter in any way, shape, or form, they were public enemy number one. Do not date. Mm. And it got so bad to where uh, the conservatives had to create their own dating app. <laughs> no, for real, because it was that bad. It was that bad. So, mm. well, maybe that's what ties into it. With that, might be the reason because. Like I said, the, the next one down, with 76% reporting that it was a red flag for them, that MAGA was a red flag. 70, so they might be still, you know, equating the two as, as being one. But uh, coming in at number two was they have no hobbies. 66% was that. Yeah, uh, I, I, I think, look, men need to have hobbies. Right? You, you really do. If you... If you really like hanging out with, with a chick all day, I'm going to, look... That's a recipe for disaster, okay? And if you can tolerate that, God bless you, but she cannot tolerate that, <laughs> okay? But, sure. but no, you need to have hobbies. But everyone does. You, you got to have hobbies. You cannot be up each other's asses all day. Right. And I think you've seen that. You saw that with COVID. When the COVID lockdowns hit, how many domestic violence went up? Divorces went up even more. Alcohol because, abuse, all right, of it. Right, everything. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, people realize we cannot fucking stand each other. We can only microdose each other. Right. Couple, uh, an hour here, an hour there. But when you're locked into a, a room together for X amount of time, you're gonna gonna hate each other. Yeah. I'm I'm sorry to say that men and women are not the same. Just not. Well, going on, 55% of women said they identify as a communist, as a major red flag as well. So they think that men... So it's weird. 76% said MAGA was a red flag. And now 55% said that if they identify as a communist, that's a red flag as well. What about atheists? Was there, is that on there? Nope, it's oh. not on there. Huh. Yeah. Huh. That's right. All right. Uh, Conversely, Atheist, only communist same right, shit. Yeah, right, yeah. Conversely, only thirty-five percent of men said that you know listening to the Joe Rogan podcast was a red flag for them in the dating market. I'm not sure if that's gay men or if there are some women out there that are really into the Joe Rogan podcast. Is there one for men that is like a number? One, like, yeah, I'm oh, getting into. Oh, okay, it. I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, on the men's side, sixty-four percent of millennial and Gen Z guys saying she identifies as a communist was the biggest red flag. Followed by 60% saying she has no hobby. Like, I'm reading the same stuff. Hold on, hold on, no. That's false. The, the, I, I, I gotta say it's that. From this study. Hold on. I gotta say, co communist, what woman is. I've never seen a woman declare she's a communist on they a dating like, app. Yeah, well, yeah, but they like to say that. Not all. Uh, most of them have no clue what the fuck that even means. They just go ahead and say it because they're like, you know, they know that they're left leaning. And if they're just hardcore uh, leftists, I guess because there's Hillary, a big difference. I guess if they're Hillary Clinton right. supporters, big you difference know between being liberal and being a leftist. Okay, let's let's say that. So, 
those that claim to be hardcore leftists would probably identify themselves as being communist. Maybe some liberals that don't understand it fully would identify as being communist just because they are anti-capitalist, so they think I'll just go with the the negative of that and that's, call it a day. That's crazy because like the new, and I don't know how, how new it is, but they, they ask men now um, if she had pronouns in her bio and a um, every single one said, no matter how she's a ten, but she uses pronouns. All of them said, "Fuck mm-hmm. her." Yeah. So I agree with th- that. That's why I'm surprised with the with the communist one because oh, these are major young millennials okay. and Gen Z, so it's a different generation. Okay. You know what? You're right. I'm sorry. That's all I'm, I'm saying. I'm no, not no. You you made some good points, but that's all I'm saying. Look, I'm out of touch. I'm sorry. Uh, but also with the men, fifty nine percent of them. Saying that if she identifies as a MAGA Republican is a red flag. <laughs> what? Like, we, we can't figure it out. Like, if you say you're a communist, that's a red flag. If you're a MAGA supporter, that's a red flag as well. And it's huge majorities from both the female and male side. So I'm sorry, kids. You guys don't know what you fucking want. They're a mess. Man, if you're I a MAGA all- supporter, I'm proposing. <laughs> Shit, dude. My but this God, one, this one I can totally agree with, though. But. I feel like this should be a higher percentage number, but it's only 41%. But 41% of men also said that them being into astrology was a red flag. To me, that's 100% yeah. fucking red flag. Yeah. Let, let me put that's it this cre- way. That's creepy right. shit. If you're into all that, and I was it Ryan Long, who's a uh, Canadian stand-up, made this good comparison. If she's into like astrology and crystal, healing crystals and all that stuff... You say, okay, go ahead. If you make fun of her and she rips on you for it and tells you that it's real, say, okay, that's fine. Next time you're going to have sex and she asks you where the condom is, be like, don't worry, baby. I got my protection crystal. We're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and just fucking do yeah. what it. See what she says then. If we really believe in fucking crystals yeah. and, and magical powers and things of that nature. I, I don't mind if a chick is like, I don't mind if she like, dabbles in it like whatever she thinks like it's real whatever right, it's but it's cute. like but it's like when you go deep into like she's breaking down like your birthday month and oh well where it, the stars it, you're were. a leo and i'm a capricorn that really isn't a good mix of like and, and when you're going down that fucking whole rabbit hole right. and you're it's already like, out and it has and nothing it, to do with who you are right and it's like well listen i can only have sex on wednesdays because that's when the fucking sun hits the eyes and whatever the, or the moon hits the eyes whatever and i'm just like okay we're done we're done. I can't. I'm sorry. But you've said it before. Women will make a, a random excuse that really has nothing, no control. The man has no control over it. Like you said, 5'9". Wow, well, you're too short. Well, he has no control over that. Well, you're a Taurus. Well, I have no control over when my parents fucked. I'm sorry for the month that I was born in. But the, but, like, but listen, whoever, someone wrote uh, that said that uh, Tauruses and Leos don't make a good mix. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. And, and some do. You insen- Imagine that. You insensitive fuck. <laughs> I know. Uh, but as for the green flags, 95% of women, this was interesting, and 91% of men, so a huge majority of both sexes, listed they read as a number one green flag. They want people that read. That's kind of interesting. Reading Don't what? listen to the Joe Rogan podcast. Reading Just put what? it on mute and read the captions, and maybe you can find some middle ground. But uh, that could be skewed. Like, what right, are you, what are you reading? Exactly. Uh, you what know, am I reading? If, if you're sitting, if you're reading, Penthouse. if you're reading fucking CNN, you know, articles, I, I'm gonna look at you sideways. You know, there's your red flag. <laughs> I mean. I know it helps, it's, like, I read a little bit. Like, I'm not there fucking reading, uh, you know, uh, five hours a day. Like, I'm not slamming books. I read a little bit here and there. Like, like business books, money books, whatever. And I think, especially now, I th- I still think it's important to read just a little bit, you know, because we're just so visual. Right, everything is a video and someone's telling it to you rather, rather right. than you absorbing information that someone's written down years ago right whether it's fiction or non-fiction it's a good mental exercise yeah i i and i don't really know but my thinking would be why men would like that because it would be quote unquote another hobby for the women to do and And listen yeah go read your books babe while i fucking game yep 
So, well, maybe they're reading Tinder profiles. You know what I mean? Oh, dude, yeah. those... I think that's what they're reading because they're all dude. up in the dating apps, and something has changed now with Tinder. Dude, you want to laugh? Go to Plenty of Fish dating app. Hold on, because those profiles are fucking insane. The fact that these bitches, hold on, I gotta, I gotta, Go ahead. I gotta, I gotta say this. Go ahead. The fact that these bitches, the <laughs> shit that they put on there, and thinking that they're gonna uh, attract any decent man is fucking crazy. Just for trying to attract a bigger fish. For ins- for instance, okay, because I dabbled in the in the online dating thing, and this is why I think it's it's atrocious. It's a dumpster. <laughs> Fire. especially penny, plenty of fish it is the worst okay some plenty of them of some of them go so hood i don't even understand what what who they are for instance okay just like for men you know from the women's side i've seen some on the under the profession tab is getting stacks with dollar signs getting my bags i don't i don't know what that Look, Going I'm, shopping. I'm really out of touch. I really don't know. Oh my god, the light's <laughs> blinding. I really don't know what any of those of those things are, to be honest. And then the about me sections I remember were always like, you know, fuck around and find out. <laughs> uh, you know. What was the next one? Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. I'm just like, I, I'm just like, I, I don't, I don't really know. I really, don't, I really don't know. And then the pictures are even better because a lot of them are not the most flattering pictures. And then women think it's their badass on, on POF that they have to show that they can smoke uh, blunts or bowls. They really have to show that. And then 420 they, friendly. I mean, that's yeah, a green that's flag. Another, it is, but it's like... I would say for, for the majority at this point. It is, but it would be... okay. To me... If that's all you do... No, well, right, but to me, how some people view... I think you've said this, too, how, like, some people will will show, like, pictures of, like, all their guns, and, like, Mm. it's a continuous trend. That's how I view what with weed, though. Like, Mm. if you gotta show... Everybody's smoke, like... It's whatever yeah. now. Like, yeah. if you really got to have 50 pictures and that's on your hobbies, your bio, yeah. your whatever, I'm like, really? That's how I feel about uh, April 20th. Oh, it's 420. I'm like, you need the calendar to tell you? That's like New the... Year's Eve. You're right. getting drunk. Like, really? Right. That, yeah. that, that That's, okay. For for the, the very occasional partaker, I could see how that's a thing. Yeah. But for, yeah, if it's another day at the office, you're just kind of like... Okay, good for you. Yeah. So, so there, so there. Do a video of you rolling it. That's more impressive. So there's that. And then another thing that I remember was that they would put, it would seem like a legit file. Like, you know, they want a relationship and religions, Christianity, and all this other shit. And then, you know, after you get in touch and you're talking, whatever, then they start sending you fucking links to their OnlyFans. And it's like. So now we're you're using wearing that crucifix while you're doing so, it. So now we're using dating apps now to also cross promote their brand of OnlyFans, yeah. Instagram, whatever. Not to I'm mention the like, fucking bots, right? That are in there yeah. too. I mean, you could have a field day with the bots. It's easy to tell who's a bot, and then you just mess with them for a while. Right. It's actually quite fun. It's it's atrocious, dude. I I mean, when you really think of online dating, it's like a fucking job application, yeah. but just worse. To a point, because you. Even when you fill it out, you you don't know that, like... Right. You don't know. And I'll say, I know, plenty of fish, whatever. I, I For a while after the break, I was with somebody for five years, and when we finally split, you know, after a little bit, yeah, I dabbled in it as well. Um, and was it, what was interesting was plenty of fish taught me a term that I did not know. Um, because in a lot of the profiles, I don't know if you noticed, uh, when you were on there at that time, some of them would just say looking for a and then had like a a plug emoji looking for a plug (laughs) right okay and in my mind i'm thinking this chick's just throwing it out there she's like ready to fuck you know looking for a plug i had no idea that that meant drug dealer yeah i had no clue Right. I was like, wow, there's a bunch of whores on this fucking website. And talk about plenty of fish. It's like fishing with dynamite. You know you know what else no one talks about, too, about dating apps? It's on the male side. There, they, there is a, on some dating apps, I don't know for all, 
but on some of them, they one of the things that you have to fill out is how much you make a year, which is very interesting. It is quite interesting. That we really don't bring it up. And well, and I've called I've called bitches out on this when it's like again when you know girls get together what's the first thing they ask what does he do Ooh that's a good job and then, now it's really exciting otherwise it's So us men have What does to, he look like so it's us, the second one if the job ain't good right. is he cute at least like, Yeah oh. so us men on dating apps that, and again on some I don't know for all mm. but that is a selection thing not necessarily if I don't know if it's like a bonus thing or I, I don't really know, but that is a selection thing that you, when you're filling out your own application, <laughs> filling out your application. Pretty much, yeah. Hate, that's one of the things. I'm just like, this is so fucking, it's toxic, man. Well, it's gotten a little different. I This new uh, feature with Tinder, I think, is taking that into account. Um, because if you think about it, if you were to put, if the men have to put, if that's an option to put how much you make per year, that could also be a potential for somebody that's looking for somebody for a stable, secure uh, future, maybe to start a family. That might be why that's there. Obviously, it's being used for something else. I'm just giving it the benefit of the doubt. Your face says absolutely the truth. I agree. But Tinder is now offering a new VIP subscription oh, costing $500 a month. Oh, Five hundred dollars a month. You it's, getting blowies? What are you? Right. Where are we getting? Well, it's called Tinder Select, and it's aimed at its most active users. So to pay, you pay five hundred dollars per month, and this service offers exclusive features like VIP search, matching, and conversation. Uh, initially launched in twenty seventeen as an invite only tier, I guess there's levels to Tinder for hotties and celebrities. Tinder Select is now available for you know six grand annually at that rate. Uh, but less of 1% of Tinder users have been offered this subscription. I guess they're the most active. Uh, the dating app also offers three other paid tiers with pricing starting at $24.99 per month. So really, if you have that Tinder Select, you know it's somebody that clearly has money to just burn and they're trying to find, you know what I mean? Like if it's weeding out the poor people kind of thing. Like if you got Tinder Select, you know you got somebody that's got money. There was a, and don't think I forgot, I want to know your red flags. But oh, yeah. Th- I don't know her name, but she came up. Good old what's her name. She was doing, yeah, because she's a, she's a fucking, this is why women are, can be bitches. Mm. There, I forgot her name, I, like, I, I don't know, she's just some fucking whatever. But she was on a podcast, and she said that every first date she's on, she wants to look at the guy's bank account. I saw because that if he doesn't make X amount of money, more than I don't her, yeah. more than her because she's such an important woman and has a, such a great career, whatever. That that's it. Like she, well, she claims that she'll just walk out yeah. right there. Look at what happens when you give not only the women that are, they already start off with like default powers. Yeah, if we can call it that. Now add. A shitload of money to it. And watch how it goes to the head real quick. I know it happens with a lot of dudes too. But, (laughs) Jesus. That clip was infuriating to listen to. It's almost like, who the fuck? Like how you said, who the fuck are you? Right. Who are you? Right. You know what? You're disgusting. Just the words coming out of your mouth right now. I don't give a fuck fuck of walk on. I get more satisfaction of saying no. But that's these, these women now are... They they they're on, they believe that they're on this fucking pedestal. God's not here. only not only that, but they have this illusion illusion that everybody makes you know every man really makes five hundred thousand oh, yeah. dollars a year, whatever. And unfortunately, that's just not the case. And we, look, me, a lot of men try, you, you know, but it is what it is, and it's like, you know what. Okay, you're looking for a man, but like, what are you bringing to the table? Like, what what are you bringing that well, for dictates her, or deserves that? It's money. We're not getting that money. No, but I'd but like to. Like, like, what I'm saying is, 
on her end. Mm. Like, what are you bringing? That oh, right. Dick, if that he makes more, man. But, but what are you? Because that's what I'm saying. Like, better we don't, be some we bomb don't, pussy. No, it's. No. You better be a five star chef. That, but that's what I'm saying, though. Like, what are you bringing to the table or, that dictates right. that? Your or personality? Mm. Uh, it uh, sucks, gonna, yeah. I'm going to probably say that's not it. No. And she was pretty, but she's not, f- what, $500,000 a year pretty? No. Okay. No. Just saying. No, I but, agree with you. But the, here's, a th- here's the sad thing, though. Even, especially with this viral cl- clip that, you know, came out, came out, whatever, as much men as me and you look at her and go... Yeah, fuck you, whatever. There's still going to oh, be the opposite yeah. side. And again, like Somebody I said in previous it. shows, that lies, there lies the problem. Somebody will take it. Well, con- continuing this uh, interesting trend with, the, uh, with Gen Z and what they're going to be able to look forward to in their future, potentially, it's a... Uh, a university in Ireland uh, now offers a full degree on how to become an influencer. Well, maybe we should. Yep. Starting uh, next year in 2024, they'll offer a bachelor's degree in influencing, a profession valued at $16.4 billion globally. The degree, designed by Southeast Technological University, uh, includes courses in crisis management, public relations, social physiology, video and audio editing, and more. While this appeals to Gen Z students, of course, the fast-changing nature of social media raises concerns about the degree's long-term viability. Wow. I mean, your liberal, liberal arts degree doesn't seem so bad now, or your philosophy major <laughs> isn't as useless as majoring in being an influencer. It's got to fizzle out soon, right? Who knows? Like how many more influence can you can you can you have? Different like, personalities every day. I guess. I don't know. A different shtick. Somebody's just the way they talk, the way they look. It lands, and they take off. I don't you know. You ever see? Do you see? You know this the the fucking Bobby Artoff fucking chick. The really skinny chick with big boobs. She did the interview in bed with Drake. Like, she just started her podcast. Like, she did, like, TikTok and shit, and she, like, blew up. So, like, she just started a podcast. I think it's called, like, The Best Podcast or some 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 bullshit. Red whatever. flag. Um, and, you know, she did Mark Cuban and, like, some rappers. But she really blew up when she did an interview with Drake in bed. Okay. Um... Did they and, have breakfast? N- no. Damn it. Um, and, you know, she's a cynical, like, tries to be funny, but really not. And she just has that, like, that dry California fry. Yeah, exactly. And it's like how quickly she blew up, like, to even get that interview with Drake and all these others. And it's like, you know, I... I Personally, I feel like, especially with these influencers, it's 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 a bias thing. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's pick and choose who you know someone's dictating who rises and who doesn't, who gets exposed oh, sure. and who doesn't. Yeah. You know, like for instance, Joe Rogan had to put in ten years before he was even right. on the market to where this Bobby chick put in. You know, just because she did some dumb shit on TikTok, six months and she's interviewing celebrities. And now she got so big that, you know, guests are uh, messaging her to get on. And it's just like, and again, it's nothing crazy. It's Mm. nothing like, oh my gosh, she's so insightful or anything like that. No, really not. And it's like, again, hundreds of thousands of views and it's just like... But people see that, and especially the younger ones that are, you know, a lot more uh, impressionable. So, I mean, it, it's a shot in the dark, for sure, for this offer of a degree, you know, in influencing. But if this were to, could you imagine, though, if it lands, and then all the universities now offer that, because it's social media has become such an integral part of how society seems to be exchanging information nowadays. But how can you offer a degree to be an influencer? Hold on. If 
if the algorithm, quote unquote, is non-biased and always changes, right? So how how can you for okay, like, and I'll be totally honest, like you know, we we try to be better and try to do things to get more exposures as just a podcast, right? Right. And how many countless times have I told you either I watch videos, research on how to expand our audience or whatever, and everything that they say to do, we do. But we're still stuck in this, you know, which right. I'm not trying to be unappreciative, but I'm just saying, you know. So again, and if 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 they if their claim is, you know, the algorithm was always changing up, it's 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 a um, it's something that you have to chase because, you know, they try to make it, I don't know, as non biased as, as fair as possible. There is sure no there is no quote unquote said guidelines. So if that's what we're pushing it's hard for me to believe that how can you have a degree? Right. There's a professor that's nailed it and is going to teach them all. Right. right. Like who's teaching? He them? better be number one. He or she better be number fucking one on all platforms. Right. So. Those who can't do teach, I guess that'll be the excuse they make. Right. When they're like, they're not Insta famous or whatever it is. But I, I think it's, it's another, um, it's just another way to make to just make money. Very you true. know, it, it's it's a false hope that mm -hmm. yeah, here we're gonna give you the blue the blueprint on exactly how to be an influencer. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you, if it was that easy, uh, I don't know, I mean hate to toot our own horn, but I feel like then we'd be on fucking top, right? Because mm. I mean we've <laughs> just saying. Nah. All right. I don't know, call me biased. It's all good. I mean yeah. as worthless as we are, there's something else that has now come out. And I didn't really need a report for this because I kind of had a feeling when it first came out and it finally went away. But here it is. It sh the report shows that nearly all NFTs are practically worthless. Yeah. Remember NFTs when that was huge and they were just spending fucking ungodly amounts of money on an image? Yeah. A, a computer, like you can't even hold it. Now they're worthless. So good for you for spending your money. For now. Yeah. I for for now. Right. I would argue, right, it might make a comeback as trends do, but that was a quick one that came and went, so who knows. But I, w I would say, let's think back to, like, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 days. I kind of feel like those emblems that we used to be able to make. Yeah. I would argue, that's like the original NFT right. to me. Like, we all made those. There was always, like, a bunch of, like like, SpongeBob ones. Yeah. People make Spongebob ones. People make those ones with, like, chicks' asses all the time. Or it's, like, two girls sucking a dick. Or, an like, or animals fucking. Right, you're like trying that. to play, and you see you get killed by and then there's this little picture right there, and you're like, of course it's you, and it's just a fucking butt, and you're like, god damn it. Here's why I don't think... It sounds stupid when it came out, and especially the amount of money, but long-term, think about... Because I just thought of this scenario... Um, let's just say, um, either a war breaks out or something and the Mona Lisa, for instance, got destroyed, okay. whatever. Okay. Well, it's destroyed. Like that's the original, you know, you'll have copies, whatever. But if you had an original NFT picture, I mean, I guess you could have a virus that destroys it or whatever, but it's kind of like... You still got that, lock but you in. like you can't destroy like because it's on the internet. Like you can't like can you destroy the internet? Like I don't like. No, they talk I mean, about I know scrubbing can... things from the internet all the time. But I'm like, who's doing the scrubbing? That's, yeah, is that's... it the FBI? Is it the CIA? I guess is what it I'm Elon Musk. I don't know. I guess what I'm saying is it's to me it's kind of like a weird thing of um, you can. Depending on whatever programs or whatever, it, it's it's something electronic that's harder to destroy than than a physical thing. Hmm. Like I can physically break this remote, but if I had a picture of it, yeah, it may not be worth anything now. But you know, like how we look at antiques now, mm, and then come to it find could it, be yeah, in so the future. American pickers, right? Like yeah. we don't like we don't know what the future holds, so. We, Hold on we to might it, have you know. less, because we're moving in the technology sphere, 
So we might have less and less of actual physical things to where that NFT picture will become valuable. Once again. That's, that, again, that's like my deep dive thinking, and that's like the rough idea Maybe. is kind of what I'm thinking. I don't, I don't really know. I mean, know. There's, there's definitely uh, potential for that. So, I mean, I guess we'll find out. But I guess to go from Gen Z to boomers... And I know it was a couple episodes ago, and I promised I'd compile this list. Well, I did it. I did it. Um, I still want to get to your red flags. Oh, we'll get to the red flags. I just, I just, I I don't want you to think I'm forgetting. Um, I have my list. Oh, you're like Joe Biden, so prepared. Yep. Well, at least I know how to exit the stage. Well, well, I don't know about that. Well, uh, after we talked about her... Diane Feinstein finally died at 90 years old. She finally died on September 29th. She kicked the bucket. Oh, darn. Oh, darn, yes. Well. I mean, all oh, house. Right. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. So, like I said, I had to cross out is things that Diane Feinstein was older than. So this list should kind of put into perspective, because this was her sixth term as a U.S. senator, how old these people are running the country. We've already done the McConnell thing. We've, we've glossed over that. But here are some things that she was older than. Okay. Remember Ruth, also we had Ruth Ginsburg, uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, yeah, whatever, yes. the, whoever the fuck. Right. right. All right. So she was, Feinstein was born June 22nd, 1933. So all these things came after her. <clears throat> oh, World War II, right? Yep, oh, that's one God. of them. The trampoline which was invented in 1934, so a year after she was born. Uh, she's older than, she was older than Instant Coffee. It came out in 38. Instant Coffee came out in 38? Really? 38, I know. Really? This was kind of more fascinating, the years they these inventions came really? out. Really? Yeah. Uh, wow, I thought that was like a, like a 70s, 80s thing. <laughs> no. Wow. Yeah. Uh, the microwave oven came out in 1945. Classic. As well as World War II and the Truman administration, like you said, uh, which also... She's like a fucking teenager. Yeah. Right though. Jesus. <laughs> which also, I guess, would include the atomic bomb in 45. She's older than that. Um, good year in 45. She's also older than Tupperware, which came out in 45. Mm. Uh, she's also was also older than the ballpoint pen, which came out in 1938. Older than credit cards, which came out in 1950. Really? Yeah. Credit card. They had credit, credit cards. cards? Nineteen fifty. Uh, she was also older than the ability to photocopy something. The invention of the photocopier in nineteen thirty-eight, which I guess was also a great year for inventions, considering so, how I mean, many they're listed. You're naming this off. I mean, I don't know how she's not a fucking pioneer That's of right. all women. I mean, really. Uh, older than Velcro. Came out in '56. I might have to get a Diane Feinstein uh, shirt or something. I don't really know. Pr- they probably have some. We could find some so. graphic tees. Uh, just got a wheelchair. Right. Huh? Uh, a couple more here. Uh, she, which uh, she was older than Spider Man, which came out in 1962, and for that matter, older than Marvel Comics entirely, which was established in 1939. So every Marvel superhero, she was older than the creation of all of that. She was also older than chocolate chip cookies, which came out in 1938 as well. So that was interesting. Man, evil, evil lives a long time. It does. What, what's scarier, though, to note? Is she's done nothing in office. Well, oh. Thursday, the morning of the day she died. Oh, so yeah. she, she died vo- that she evening. She voted on something, yep. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thursday morning, she cast her final vote. Which was a vote, apparently, for keeping the government open. She voted aye. Which I think is uh, cool that they all... Aye! We still do that. I mean... Aye! So you just... know what's, what's interesting? When they invented the telephone... Alexander Graham Bell, when they invented the telephone, hello wasn't even in the English vernacular, really. He wanted people to say ahoy when they answered the phone. I think aye is still kind of along those lines. I kind of want to... Let's start that trend. I'm going to do that now. Anytime you well, call you me, know ahoy! What? Since we changed the dress code, we might as well change that. Too. Yeah, we can wear flip-flops to the Senate Sweaters, floor. gym shorts, whatever. It's all good, man. Um, Let it rip. Again, it's just... 
it's one of those things where it's like, uh, again, we care more about fucking Taylor Swift and Kelsey than why we have fucking 80 and 90 year olds running our fucking government. Or Epstein's client list, well, like, which a lot of them are probably on there. Like, what the- like, what the fuck, dude? Like, is this really where we're at? But again, on the flip side, is Gen Z really any better? And millennials really any better? We're not, for sure. I mean, not really. We don't, we don't fucking know the difference between our penis and elbows. Like, I, I don't really know. Well, one's a weenus and one's a penis. I... Well, I wanted you to think about music for a minute. Because a New Jersey man was arrested after intentionally crashing into a police station while blaring... Welcome to the jungle. On the night of September 20th, New Jersey man John Hargreaves was arrested after intentionally crashing his car into a private residence and then into the Independence Township Police Department station. Surveillance video of the incident shows officers arresting him while his car speakers blared guns and roses, welcome to the jungle. If you had to just halt full send into a police station, what are you playing? What do you think you're playing? Probably a Tool song. Right or Disturbed. Oh, yeah, Disturbed. Oh, wow. Indes- <clears throat> indestructible, that's what I'm playing. Okay, right on. Blaring it, that's what I'm doing. I would probably go with uh, Tychowski's uh, 1812 Overture. Yeah. Classic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would assume, or like some fucking jazzy fucking... Yeah, right, take five from Dave thing. Brubreck. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. That's All right, mouthful. listen... I want to get to your red flags, okay? Because you've you've been avoiding it with all this Feinstein and music. I I want to know your red all flags. Right. I'm very curious because not to bash too many people, but I'm just saying the last one. I'm like, I don't think this guy has red flags. I, I really, I really don't. <laughs> I, I have I don't very know what fl- few. Red flags it's work. true. It is true. Yeah. I have very few red flags. Um, you don't have to name them all. Just vegan give me a or vegetarian is going to be one. Ooh. I can entertain you, but like I love to cook. Yeah. And I love protein, uh, meat. It's rough. Uh, it, it's rough. My ex. I can yeah. make both. That's not, But if you have, uh, it might come to a it's head a to a point where you're going to start coming at me trying to convince me to go vegan or vegetarian, and I'm not going to do it. We're going to have an argument. It's okay. Going out's even worse. Oh, because sure you that. have to oh. be, they have to at least bare minimum serve salads. Right. You know what I mean? But I can sit on this wooden bench that we killed a tree for. Um, I would say overly religious is a red flag for me. Like you can have ch- faith and be spiritual. Not going to church. I'm not saying going to church because I can humor people. Like I, like if you want me to go with you and I literally have nothing else, I'm not going to be... No, because I don't believe in it. Because I do plenty of shit. Oh, I would love to see you go to church. I know all I the moves. Would, uh, you would be fucking I know all the moves. steaming the minute you walked in that building. Yeah, right building. the second I dip my fingers in the holy water, you it are, burns! You are burning. Yeah. Um, so yeah what's, guess oh, what? Nothing happens because it's all fucking make-believe, like astrology. Yeah. Uh, to me. Um, well. Well, it's also a red flag because it could be for them, too, that because I've had you know, occurrences where I was okay with them practicing whatever faith they wanted to. They had a problem with my atheism, feeling like I had faith in nothing, which, of course, isn't the case. But then that turns into a whole argument when you try to explain it. It goes in one ear and out the other because they can't understand anything beyond... But what's overly religious to you? Overly religious to me is... Everything's a... Bible verse or a yeah, quote, man. a or, scripture. Or, or, yeah, or God's given me the strength or to giving do you the this light. thing. Like, I've seen people like that. Like, I'm thanking God for, you know, doing this, or doing, which is fine. You're allowed to do that. But when it's every little thing, eventually I'm going to lean in and be like, you know, you did that, right? You took care of that. Yeah, but God gave me the strength. Like, no, you knew you needed to fix it, and you fucking did it. Like, we all have that within us. Like, you can, so there's going to be a little back and forth. But, yeah, okay, no no meat on Fridays, you know what I mean? That would be a rough one, too, if I get, although we can do fish. Mm. I'd be okay with fish fry. Like, I can, I can accommodate 
So that's why I guess I don't have too many red flags. Although... So vegan and believing in God too much are your two biggest red flags. That's probably my two biggest red flags. And the second one's not even really that big. It's just more hmm. of if you're going to judge me. That's what I'm worried about. Well, if it's she not did, like a no go. If she go, did, then she wouldn't be with you. There you go. Or if she's willing to have the conversation and, you know, say that she'll pray for me or whatever like that. Like, I don't even get mad at stuff, but people, I'll pray for you. Like, that's, you know what? That's beautiful. You know why? Because you hardcore believe in that shit. And if you hardcore believe in that and you found it in yourself that you cared to put me in that energy, it's beautiful. Maybe if Even you... if I think it's nonsense, you're thinking about me and you actually care and you want something good to happen. You think this is a good thing. Even if I don't agree with it. You're so negative. You have so, oh, you're, that negative? You're just so negative. Oh, I you, said that was beautiful. If you had, if you had a little little uh, spiritual side to you. I do have a spiritual your, side Your world to me. would be, eh, you know, touch, touching all of the us, clouds. Baby. Um, what, 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 what else? Major red flags. I mean, uh, I, I now, feel, I'm nowadays, not, I'm not getting, yeah, right, right, right now, nowadays, right now, I want to hear. Uh, kids. Kids are a red flag. Huh. Yep. Kids are really? a red flag now. Really? Right now? Yep. Just what? Like last week now it's a flag? <laughs> no. I'm just asking, hold on, I'm, I really want to break this yeah, down. A couple I'm just months, asking couple months now, because now I'm just kind of like, because now I'm 33, so yeah, the, the pool has is getting very shallow at this point. So it's either somebody that has a lot of baggage and is very toxic because she's still single, or it's somebody that's overly religious that was waiting for marriage, so she's still single, or it's somebody that's got multiple children and thinks that now I'm going to be the solution for all of these problems because everything's just calamitous in your household and you're trying to get shit together. Like, get your shit together. I need to get shit together. Like, let's not Hold force on. this fucking thing. Is it multiple kids or one kid? Now it's, yeah, now it's one or multiple. It used to be just mul multiple and I was okay with just one, okay? Like, things happen. People make mistakes. People learn from that, especially if they were younger when those things happen. I can try to understand that. So, but why now not just one kid? Because um, I just want to. Because I'm going to have a, a rebuttal to it, but I'm just... Just the bad experience of... Uh, that was one. Feeling, feeling like, you know, they either they didn't want them around sort of thing because I'm by myself so it felt like a getaway sort of thing mm. now we're in the day but it's just the two of us the two of us the two of us and are we just going to pretend like this third mm. person over here doesn't exist how many times can we have a babysitter how many times can grandparents watch them and leave us that's not going to be forever yeah. And how long are we going to let this go on? And when it goes on for months and months and months and I eventually have to go ahead and say would it be cool if I take if we all go here, try like I can understand okay. too if you're a single mom and you don't want to introduce another gentleman into the situation and the kid gets attached and then you two break up and now the kid's depressed or thinking that it was their fault that things then didn't work. Then he transitions because right. he doesn't know what he identifies right. anymore because yeah. he's so heartbroken. But after a while, if you're going together for that long, I mean, you're gonna have to rip that bandaid off and get serious if you're thinking about getting serious. If not, it's pretty apparent to me that you're not serious. This is just a fun time, and apparently, it's time that I'm wasting. Mm. So couple things on that one i hear what you're saying right. on the flip side though and again there's always exceptions to the rule to me you can make an argument that at least as if it's a single mother she has um a uh a responsibility right but also something that she has that um gives her that drive um i Again, there's obviously bad parents, but right, I'm saying on the, the kids. but I'm saying on the flip side to also provide, and so you know it's her responsibility. So she's going to keep working and or trying to do whatever. Also, while you know dating, you know you, I can appreciate but, the hustle. But there's there's I feel like also on the flip side, it gives them to where they could be less lazy or whatever. I, I don't know, like. There's not enough, they may not have a whole lot of free time 
And I was surprised, I guess, at this last one, the overabundance of free That's time. not all of them. I want to make that very yeah. clear. I, but, but here, okay, so here's the main thing, because I had to adjust to this, hmm. okay? Even, I'm a couple years younger than you, but even now at 30, I have to now open the range of, because when I was younger, you know, 20 to 25, 26, whatever, if you had a kid, automatically, I don't want to look at you, talk to you, whatever. Mm. But now as I'm getting older, it's like, okay, I got to kind of open that range a little bit. So now I'll, I'll be open if you have a kid. I, okay, that's because I'm just older now and, you know, it's whatever. Right. For whatever situation, whatever. I was the same way. My experience didn't Multiple go kids, away. fuck that, whatever. Right. But maybe by the time I'm 40, I'm like, well, at this point, you know, whatever. Right. But I'm about to I'm, be shooting blanks. I might as well have some little ones running around. Uh, right, you know, do some fucking chores but around the, here. Or whatever. I don't know. I don't but, like the whole uh, having to raise some other guy's fucking kid either at the same time. Okay, if yeah. they're a piece of shit. If they're a good father... Then I can I can hang with that. Right. If they're a good dad, and those two just didn't work, but they're they're both good, and they put the child's uh you know welfare first. Yeah. Then okay, we can play a little bit. But you know if he's just a depends, deadbeat but, yeah. or he's a piece of shit or not in the picture at all. Yeah. Now it's just like well, and what's this kid gonna think? Now, like I'm their dad after a while, right. which of course is adorable in a lot of cases, but at this point, maybe not so much for me. I don't know, like emotionally, cause, you know, I don't think I've I've got that yet. Okay, yeah, I could see that. But yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> there it is. Right? Anything else? Any other major flags? I because I feel like um, you're missing out a very important one. Giving me time with the boys, I guess. Or with you, anyway. Having Being jealous of you is a red flag. Listen. If she's let, jealous of not, you listen. and our friendship, that's a red flag. Listen, that's you're bringing in a lot of personal uh, scuttlebutt. You asked for that. my red flags, and guess what? Now I've got them. Okay, first, I mean, whatever. I, won't, I don't want to get too deep Say into it. Again. I don't want to get too deep into it. But, you know, I'm surprised that you didn't bring up, like, like major drug use. Not weed, oh, but I'm okay. talking about, yeah, yeah. you know, what if she's doing I'm math, sorry, math yeah. or fucking, you know, Well, whatever. I mean, I could put lots of things as a to- red flag, yeah, you know. I could tolerate that. Yeah. Yeah, you know, hey, listen, as long she, as she can make yeah. it to my house, it's no big deal. She was a mass shooter. That's a red flag. Like, I mean, I could really go. She gives people cancer by looking at them. That's a red flag. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yes, don't. that's an obvious one for sure. <laughs> Just, I would go ahead and say that. But, uh. I guess with a lot of the conversation circling around relationships, uh, the different generational uh, struggles and how we form those relationships and how we attempt to maintain them with all of the flashing lights and things in front of us, swiping right or left, what have you, I thought this was kind of cool. This was written by a bunch of dudes on Reddit. This is Reddit's unwritten, unspoken rules for being a man. So I don't all agree, I agree with a lot of these, but maybe you have some critiques as I rattle some of these off. So if you can all agree right. or disagree. But then after our before we end it, I'll have I have one more major red flag I gotta address. Ooh. But that's all right. it. All right. Number one, you will return the head nod. What? Like you ever been walking? Whether it's at work, whether it's in public, whatever, you make eye contact with another dude and just kind of give him one of these, or he gives that to you and you just go ahead and nod back. No. I experience I, that all the I time. I stare at him right in their fucking soul. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you know what's interesting, too, is the nod is down for someone we don't know, but for, like, someone we do know, the nod's up. I grab them by the crotch, like give, like instead of like to grab their What's ass, on, I man? do the front. Yeah, what are you fucking doing. Yeah, just stare at them, not blink. There you go. All right, <clears throat> you will stare into your own urinal bowl and your own urinal bowl only. Throughout the process of urination, you can only look directly forward. And I added down, perhaps, because I mean forward, just stare at the wall. What are these rules for? Just to be a man? This is from Reddit. Yeah. To do what? Unwritten, to be a man? Unwritten rules of being a man. Okay. Staying in the bathroom, leave one urinal between you and the next person. If there's multiple, you yeah. don't go. You don't like go right next to the 
you know. I actually try to use the same one <laughs> that they're doing. You know, you should also do. I try to get behind and like pee through their legs, right. like. But but pee. Go to the urinal and just put your pants all the way down, like we're five years old. Like Butters does. Yes, South exactly. Where. Just all the way down. And, I've and, thought of. I don't have the balls to do that. Well, I had I some really friends don't. in high school. I would school. love to do that. I don't have the balls to do that. In high school, we had some friends that would do that. We would all go to the movies, and then right after the movies, let out. I didn't do it because, of course, I was too embarrassed. But there was a line of like five <laughs> of our friends just their asses. <laughs> it would be pants heavy. around their ankles. It's funny. Everyone that walked in was whoa. Okay, it's yeah, it's, right. it's funny. And then they laughed. Yeah, every yeah. dude laughed afterwards. All right, uh, another one. No matter your age, a stick is a cool sword. I still kind of do this and pick up a stick. You got to wave it a little bit before you throw it, if it's a good one. If it's a good one. Um, If a man encounters another man digging a hole, the first man shall offer either physical labor assistance or engineering support. The number of men working on a single hole shall not be capped. Nice. Nice. Yeah. That's true. I'm walking. Uh, no? Oh, okay. <laughs> so what you digging for? I like this one. Be nice to everyone's mother. Just as a general rule, not that you... Yes. But you know what I mean? Like, even yes. if it's someone you don't like, but you don't know them and she's around, you don't go, like, that's low. You don't fucking take that shot. Yes. Kind of thing. I like that. Uh, going back to the bathroom, if you see a skid in the toilet, you have to pee it off. It's target practice. It's like a fun game. Like while you're, you know what, might as well fucking hit that. And then when you see it start to kind of, this is why you're saying crack. <laughs> this is this right. Is, am this I is, giving off the red flags now, ladies? You are a red flag. I am. I'm a walking one. Jesus. Don't roast a friend just to impress a girl. Like yeah. That. Right. When you're hanging out with yeah. your boys and everything, and all of a sudden he just becomes this fucking extra comedian. That's yeah. Usually not the case. And there's a fine line between busting balls and then like just full blown roasting, oh, like yeah. putting you down, Cheap shots. sort of thing yeah, to personal to elevate you. Kind of like what girls do, but you know, right? Don't have that female energy. Huh? Like, yeah, right. And in the same respect, if I, I would add on to it by saying like, if one of your boys has there's a girl that's around that he, you know he's into, don't be like this extra ha-ha funny like don't put all that attention on like let him fucking do the thing you ever have that happen where you want to impress some girl but then your your friends just all of a sudden become mr personality and everyone's and she's fixated over here and paying attention to them and not you kind of thing and you got to try and weasel your way back in there nope nope okay nope all right i haven't found one that i really wanted to impress yet so okay there you go I do this already. After a certain age, it's not determined, but after a certain age, you should walk slowly with one hand grabbing the other hand behind your back. It's also acceptable to stand in this position while observing something and make general remarks about the situation you're observing. Example, that doesn't look good, or you know what they should do is you know, give your manly opinion. Like when your buddy's grilling and you go over there and you're like, you know, commenting on the, you, know, you want to go ahead and flip that one. That one's been on there a little too long. Man, you just, I full just, of feedback. I, I just, I, I'm just, I feel, and I don't know why this fucking light. Just leave the keep, light next time it does I it. just, I don't understand. Just leave um, it. I, I feel. It's trying to light up the idea. See, there's a bro, like, not a bro code, but like a man code, like. I'm not just going to walk in, like, if you're grilling. I'm not just going to walk in and start telling you what the fuck you need to do. I'm going to let you do you. Good idea. Like, that's why I'm just, I'm because I'm running th- this scenario in my head. I'm like, that, that that's not a man thing to fucking do. Like, it, okay, like I said, right. if you're... There's if a you're, construction project going on, and you're just sitting there, like, with your hands behind your back. That's just one thing. Though, hold on, yeah, hold on. Observing is one thing, but then to just roll up and start, like, Telling, oh, you need to do this, and then that, that, that's like, kind of like, get the, back the fuck off. Or, or some, okay, or an older man that used to be in that kind of business and just wants to talk shop, and, oh, in my day, we used to blah, 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 use it this way, and and bullshit with the guys that are working on the job. Depends or, the setting, but I yeah. guess depends, depends the setting. Depends the setting. All right. My father can relate to this one. You must deploy the sneeze at maximum volume. 
guys, you know, dad sneezes, guys that sneeze and it could shake the fucking earth. Yeah. That I, I try to, I guess maybe I just the line of work. I too. I tried to, yeah. Maybe just the Make line of work solid. that I'm in, I, I you know. No. Um, always click the tongs before use. Definite must. Got to do it, man. I do it, but not intentionally. It's just, it's, it's just. It's there now, I don't, right? I don't, like, I don't it's know. It's an unwritten rule. I just, I don't know why I do it. It just, I, it's you just a fucking, I don't know. All right. Well, I added on to that. When using a stud finder, always first point it at yourself and announce it's working. That's Gotta do such it. a douchebag fucking do thing to do. Also, strapping something down to your car, you got to slap it. And it that's going to hold. Got to do it. Yeah. Got to do it. Here's a nice one. Be a smart ass to your friends, to their faces, relentlessly and without pause. If they're not there, have their back and never smack talk them. Yeah. That's uh, that's kind of along the lines of bro code. Yeah, like I can make fun of you. You do that. You're a perfect example of that. I can make fun of you, but no one else can. Right. And you do it to my face. I also assume that you probably have frustrations when I'm not around and I totally accept that because it's definitely understandable. Oh, and you know it. Oh, I know it. You know it. Uh, <laughs> you can feel the fucking heat. Uh, death before taking more than one trip to bring all the groceries in from the car. Mama didn't raise no two-trip bitch, right? Yeah. Take them all in. Yeah. All right, this one. Gee, how many did you write down? It's the last fucking one. Fucking 80? Jesus. Sorry, I, I do show prep. Wash your hands at least three times between cutting chilies and touching your dick. 100%. 100%. It's um, a big surprise. I don't do that because uh, when we did the one chip challenge, I didn't wash my hands or wear gloves or anything. I yeah. rubbed my eyes and I fucking remember that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, your eyes, yeah. Well, no, because I cut up. I use a lot of jala- fresh jalapenos and habaneros in, in my cooking. So if you touch a jalapeno and then touch your dick, you'll burn? Well, it, when I mince them, oh. because all those oh, juices yeah, yeah. are now on my hands or whatever like that, and I'm thinking, it's just a fucking bed, and I go to the bathroom real quick, and then I'm like, ooh, I feel a little sensation. Mm. So, it, I mean, that could have been a lot worse. Okay. I did have a moment where I had, you know, was, I had a little female companionship, and I was preparing something that was also made with fresh jalapenos and I had diced them up and mm. you know we were having a few drinks we were getting loose and we were having fun and then as I'm cooking and chopping things up she's turned on by it starts making out with me next thing we know we're in the bedroom and then you know now our genitals are both burning because I've been touching her. even our lips were burning after making out because all the all the pepper juice wash your hands at least three times before doing that what a bunch of fucking idiots I can. I wish I was there to see that. I can just imagine the minute she fucking gets on top, yeah, she's you guys like, are just fucking screaming. <laughs> oh, it didn't even get into it because we were. Yeah, we were in the process of making out, taking our clothes off, and everything like that when we kind of first noticed it on our mouths. For and then yeah, that's like that's like eating the one chip and then just starting to make out right after. Just shoving the one chip right up in the right up in the cooter. That's awesome. Just get it all up in there. All right. Well, before we end it, I got one major f- red flag that mm. I forgot earlier in the show. You listen to this podcast. Not that, you know, I, I don't know how many people are catching the end of it, but I think it's very important for, for, for men in particular. Major red flag that I have for women if, if they're not family-oriented. I think that's a major red flag for me. Because if they are, if they don't like their own family or like the idea, you know, or can't get along with their family, they're not going to have one with you. It's just not. You know what I mean? You know, you can't have a family with somebody that hates their own or can't get along with their own family. I've had moments where, you know, I've had somebody that doesn't get along with their family and then they come over for a dinner at my family's house and they're just like, you guys are so, like, wow, like your parents are so nice and all this stuff. And I'm like, yeah, that's... I thought that's how life was, you know. Right. That was a big shock for me to the system that a lot of people didn't have this. Yeah. And it has damaged them in a way that they may not understand. And it's confused me in ways, for sure, because I couldn't understand where they were coming from because I didn't experience that. Right. That's yeah. a good one. That's a good one. It's kind of like clean up your own shit first before you tell other people how to clean theirs or try to help them clean theirs, Yeah. for that matter. 
Yep. And being a partnership. So, yeah, sure. Food for thought, folks. Yep. We'll be back next time. Yep. Till next time. Thanks for stopping by. Oh yeah. <laughs>